Hi, so this is uh, another Paco video and I want to sort of go through how to make uh, an image that is um, uh, the one you want rather than the one you're given. Uh, it's all very well to use Imagine and just be given an image but it's another thing to, uh, to make a spe specific image and that is what Sketch is good for. It all starts with your drawing, so I've done a drawing here, and you don't want to treat this drawing as a, as mutable as your uh, prompt. So uh, you're going to be erasing bits and changing bits and explaining things when when the uh, AI doesn't understand uh, what the drawing is. So hopefully, I don't know how this will go because I haven't practiced it first, um, but hopefully we'll be able to put this together in an image. At first, uh, we don't. So I'll show you the prompt first okay so here he is um, and I'll keep it as simple as possible we're going to add words to this uh, but we want to add words that are giving us value rather than just uh, random random words that are being used by prompt hunter or whatever which don't really mean a lot most of them um, so we've got an ancient bull sorcerer sits on his throne he is in his stone hall there is a window behind him light in the gloom he wears rich and decorated robes paste that into our sketch I do my first iteration with, with the basic settings at, at 7 and Sketch Fidelity 1. Uh, do, I just want to see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen. So uh, I need to see what it understands, what it doesn't understand, uh, what needs to be clarified, either with the prompt or with the drawing. OK, so the first one's back. Um, and what we want from this, uh, we just want to understand uh, see what it's understood and what it hasn't understood right so it's pretty good um, terrible hands as usual but we have a window we have the throne uh, we have the old sorcerer and we have the decoration we have the stone floor we have the stone walls es essentially we have everything um, as advertised there at the, and this is at the uh, standard settings um, alpaca has a problem with red it uh, likes to make things red I do not know why so I quite like that I'll flick through our sketch and that and you see it it it, it doesn't like that face being like that it uh, it wants to make a normal face and we want to see what comes out now because uh, there's no point in uh, using an AI unless you um, allow it to uh, some room for, for manoeuvre so we're going to go right down to 5 on the sketch and up to 12 and see what we get. And if the things we like we're going to incorporate and the things we don't like we're going to um, uh, either prompt against or remove from the sketch. But we will be doing another sketch uh, over the top of one of these generations. And I'm starting to look at these for things I like and things I don't. So we have one that's not bad. We quite like the lighting and I think we're going to do a little bit more drawing define a few bits on the throne it's getting a bit lost and the other thing I'm going to do is to um, right well this looks a lot lot better all lots of good things have happened here you see the throne is more defined not sure I like the shapes of it so we might do a redraw on the throne the window is very definitely here the stonework has smoothed off uh, he's not got a blue face anymore he's got blue robes the lighting is still nice we'll try and uh, prompt the uh, rough walls away so you see the, 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 the building has uh, smoothed off a bit and we've got gold all over the throne and everywhere which I'm uh, not enthusiastic about. Stone is still a bit too but we're getting nice mullioned windows every time and the lighting is staying consistent. That looks very nice. Now that's toned, not got rid of the gold but it's certainly toned it down. So I think our sketch has done its job. The AI doesn't like to do um, out of proportion faces it will uh, it will still it will still attempt to um, to make it into a normal proportion now that one is pretty good let's have that over our sketch that one is very good we like that so we'll do one more where we up the sketch strength again i think he's pretty good i think he will do get rid of our throne and then uh, fill in the bits of the room that are missing and this will also give us freedom to uh, to uh, place our uh, sorcerer so there we have it a hall and we'll uh, save our prompt here back into the text document I like to keep a prompt history so I know what I've put in what I haven't well I think that looks pretty good and we'll see what we get and as you see our room is looking much nicer 
Now what I'm going to do is to uh, put the sketch above that and I want to Im just, Im I like that, so I just want to improve on it a bit. And I think that looks very nice. That's our, uh, our room in there and we need to just refine this a little bit now. So I'm going to use this as a colour layer in sketch. So again, I had a colour layer. We put the sketch above, colour layer underneath. Uh, sketch fidelity is zero, colours fidelity half is fine. We'll see what we get on the first one then, but I don't like that at all. So I'm going to have to put that through a different model. Alpaca's not coming up with the goods there. Now it's understanding very well each time, so I can uh, I can go a little bit uh, mad now. Oh, this looks more like it. Okay, it's doing what we want now. So I will iterate some of these, and um, we will then choose which ones we want. So we want uh, a few iterations of these. It has a nice clutter that we have enough bits and pieces now to make a nice room. Right, we're getting some very nice stuff now. Um, it's quite otherworldly. So I'm going to push my luck and uh, go mad. We'll go right down to 0.3 and up to 17. And there we have something that looks fantastic. And I think we have enough there, so we'll stop there. So here we are, all our generations done, various uh, um, bits and pieces, and I've settled on this one as a base. And um, so I, I'm going to put in uh, other bits from other renders, other generations, that, that uh, I think improve it. So I, I don't like this bright thing over there, so uh, I painted in a... Um, I painted in a, a, bit, a bit of another render, which as you see, because of the way this is done from the uh, colour guide, uh, any render will brush together pretty easily. Now I'm going to change the floor. I, I, I don't want this particular floor to put the chair on. So, um, so I've, what I do is I get a, a render with a floor I like, um, which is this one. Um, so I like that floor. It's simple and it'll, it'll, the chair will go nicely on that. And I make a mask layer, uh, as you see here, I've made a mask layer, which you do by clicking that. I invert the mask layer and then I can literally use brush with a black on it, uh, sorry, a white on it, um, to paint in the other floor. And there we are. It is literally as simple as that. We'll do more to the room later, but um, for now that's our basics and we need to, we need to get our... Um, sorcerer wizard type person uh, in position and uh, and to, to the same level of refinement so these are these are some uh, other renders I thought it might be actually interesting to uh, quickly zip through so that was our, our, our first one of our first renders of the room um, we have variations and I've got sort of nice shelves nice for good floor etc so these might um, these might uh, get used, or just you know maybe a couple of objects from them or whatever. So what we want now is to uh, take our ancient sorcerer a little bit further forwards. So let's have a look at what we've got. Now this is a good head, though I want it to be a little bit more like my uh, I want it to be a little bit more like my sketch yet, but that's quite a good head, and. Uh, has the beginnings of a good hand there, rather many fingers, but uh, uh, this, is, this is just the base we're going to build our sorcerer on. So I need to cut him out, and then we want to look at uh, how far we got with the, um, with the larger scale stuff. So I think the next thing to do is to pop that head on, uh, on the hands. So uh, what I do, I got the head, and this is the process basically. So I've got the level, I make a layer mask, I invert it, and then I literally paint in the other head. I don't even have to paint in all of it. Remake that finger, but th those hands, they're not a million miles away. They're not great, but they're not. So now we, now we need to refine the face, and I need to get my face a little bit nearer to what I want. We can see that we're actually not too bad. Um, the eyes need to go up a bit. In fact, we're pretty close, aren't we? So I just don't fancy the eyes up a little bit. That yeah, looks pretty good. His jaw is uh, lower in a thing, but I think his, I think it's fine. So we refine the face by uh, making a colour layer. So this is our face colour, and 
we need to go and get the prompt we had for the sorcerer. So we don't need to know about some things. Um, we don't need to know he's in a stone hall. We don't need to know the light shining through the window. We, we've got the window in the colour sketch. We don't need to say he's bald, probably. We'll try that and see what we get. We need uh, a, a sketch layer. Um, it really doesn't matter which sketch layer. So I'm going to use this one because um, we're taking no information from the sketch layer. We're taking all the information from the colour layer. Okay, so that's our sketch layer. So we go to sketch, sketch fidelity is that. Uh, colours fidelity we want up maybe to 6.5 or something. Um, prompt strength right down to 12. And that all looks good, we'll generate. And there he is, looks a bit mean, doesn't he? So now I want to take this face a little bit further. Um, and I'll now use a model that's just faces, uh, all sorts of uh, all sorts of elderly faces. Um, so that's pretty good, better than the other one. So we'll make that the new colour layer. Bring sketch back, leave it selected, and uh, we'll turn up the uh, cooker a bit. Uh, so we'll go down to 0.5. I like all the head except the eyes, really. Let's have a quick look. Maybe. Okay, so I think we've got uh, a bit of everything we need. Certainly he's a strange hombre. Great ear, everything good there really. Finished face, and I will copy that because I want to keep a copy of that of the finished face. Same as I want to keep a copy of the finished room and the sorcerer all separate. So uh, as you see, my man is in there and looking evil. Now I want to do some um, color adjustments on the room. So I select the room and then re-establish the flow of light again. And you see it's a, a, a very effective way of adding atmosphere and making, getting good unity into your image. Now I want to do the same thing, but with him. But I'm going to use a slightly different method there. I'm going to duplicate him, colorize him to about the same hue. And then um, with it on quite low, um, I can brush in the light. So I'll put a mask on him and we can literally brush color in. So we've got the sorcerer separate to our room, but they're both in the same uh, in the same space. Now we've got the hands to do, and there he is. So the next um, is um, our uh, throne is not great. So um, so what we will do, we'll do a, a, a couple of renders um, on the throne. So uh, what we'll do, we'll copy our um, sorcerer to make a copy of him. And we blow that up full size. And this is the repeat process, really, to refine something. You uh, you blow it up to full size. There we go. So that's the same thing. So we're going to use a, the colour layer to refine. And we're going to need another prompt um, that, that concentrates on the throne. But we don't want to... Uh, so we want, the, we want to go big on the throne here so that the AI... Uh, concentrates on the throne. I think we're going to have to uh, do some painting on it to uh, to make the whole thing clear. Okay, let's see if that has an effect. Right, so I think that one will do. That looks pretty good. But I think that's good. Let's put him in. And so there's our new and very lovely throne. Here we are with his hands done. Uh, the same process. I, uh, I'll show it briefly. I, did a, um, a, a, a very rough tonal sketch um, and then used that as a colour layer to refine. So the next thing to do is the style. Uh, you might think this comes at the beginning, but not necessarily. So this is the rendering style rather than the you know, style of, uh, you know, is it fantasy or science fiction or whatever. So this is the actual rendering file. Now, to, to my eye, this looks very uh, computer graphics-y and uh, AI. I wouldn't paint in oil paint or something a picture like this because the attention is constant over the whole image. If I was painting it for real, I would focus in on him and then reduce the uh, definition and uh, finish as I went out from him which will give a much better picture, uh, give a much more coherent image. Um, so the question is how, how to reproduce that in, uh, in alpaca. 
uh, uh, so what we do is we will put those two make duplicates of both the sorcerer and the run so we've got the sorcerer and uh, we've got the run so we'll we'll flatten the two together into one layer what we're going to do now is take the whole image and change our description a little bit and change the model so we'll go back to our original prompt of the ancient bowl sorcerer and put that into sketch so the next is I uh, use a model I've trained on oil paintings which is just called masterpiece um, and and that was made from sections and whole oil paintings that I thought the uh, brushwork and finish was nice and then we just want to run that and I'll run it at 5 and 12 just to see what it makes of it then we'll know which way to go after that that's quite nice I quite like that I love that that is exactly what we want I think we can almost stop there I don't think it's getting you get any better than that maybe not okay so that's doing it it's doing that quite nicely so I'll have a couple more um, at a, at a, with slightly different uh, settings so I will up the prompt strength to 13 and I will up the color fidelity to 8 and then go again and we're just looking uh, for what we like on the periphery I like this so we're not looking uh, we're not looking at our sorcerer who is uh, rather uh, altered we're looking at nice a painterly style in the surroundings okay so we're, we're getting you know quite a few uh, that we can assemble here um, I want to do one more thing I'm going to add a style prompt so we can forget about his robes style of a famous painter John Singer Sargent and that is a little bit nicer the rendering of these areas is just that little bit better and you see how we're getting nice atmospheric things appearing in here Okay, so we've got some pretty good ones there. I think we have enough. No, I particularly like this one. It's very nice. So I think we've, we've got enough to create our um, hall. And the, the next process is relatively simple. I know my prompt and my uh, model and my sketch are working together okay. So um, what I will do is just take my sorcerer and enlarge him. So covering as much area as possible. And then I'm, I'm merely going to, to run the same prompt, but zoomed in a bit. So I'm looking at throne, robes, not hands and face. Ah, that's a little bit better. I prefer that. Quite a nice brushy style. So that is our throne, I think. And the next thing to do is to go back to his face. So I'm going to take his just his face. And now we're going to change it to an oil portrait. I rather like that face, um, despite it playing fast and free with my uh, I quite like that one as well very nice faces nice painting feel everything good and then we need to go back and check this how is it how does it compare with where we started so you see it's much more painted okay we'll run that again with a bit more imagination and see if we get lucky I always hope to get lucky I think we have enough of these got rid of the facial hair anyway and then I'm going to do a couple of expressions so he glares at us menacingly. I like everything about that. And I think I like that. That is nasty. We'll make the glow, eyes glow just for fun. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so I think we say we have that. And you guessed it, we have to do the hands. Well, that's fine. That's a perfect hand in one. There you go. Right, so that's improved his gaze. So I will transfer the gaze to that face. And this is the power of... of generating um, you can merge stuff together so I like the gaze like that so we now only got to put the face on the base there he is all ready to go into the room and then we have our oil rooms and uh, we need to decide uh, which we like the best let's put our saucer on top for the right hand side of that one so we're all done there that's all put together and uh, you can see how everything fits together uh, so I'll just remind you all how how we started so it all started with this drawing just pencil drawing and then that went to a sketch and then that went to a sketch of the room and then we generated and uh, put the whole lot together into a into a coherent image and uh, and then finally we added a, a painted style uh, to um, to take away that uh, CGI AI uh, look and there we have the final image okay hope you enjoyed that thank you very much